the first thing you want to do is install a few apps. I'm going to assume that you already have the app installed with a few smart home devices connected to it. First, we will install a free app called NFC Tools. Next, we will install the Tasker app. It's $3.99, but it's well worth the money. Next, we want to install the Auto Voice app. I would also suggest buying the Auto Voice Pro Unlock app so you can unlock the full features of the Auto Voice app. So once you have everything installed, next we want to open up the Auto Voice app and log into the Auto Voice app using your Gmail account. It should automatically uh, log in using your Google Play account that you used to download the app in the first place, but just make sure that you're logged in using your Gmail account. Once you're logged into the Auto Voice app, you want to go to the Amazon app, and then you want to go to the More section. Then you want to go to Skills and Games. Then you want to search for the Auto Voice skill. Once we type in Auto Voice, all one word, um, we want to look for the Auto Voice Smart Home app, not the Auto Voice by itself. Once you click on the Auto Voice Smart Home button, it should show you an Enable Skill button. When you click on it, it will ask you to log in with your Google account that you use to log into your Auto Voice app. I had some trouble enabling the Auto Voice Smart Home skill using the Alexa app. In the end, I had to use the Amazon.com website to enable the skill. Basically, you go to the Amazon.com website on a PC, and then you select the skills as the department. And then you search for the Auto Voice skill. Just like before, you still choose the Auto Voice Smart Home skill. When you click on the skill itself, it should open up the page where you can enable the skill. It's just going to ask you to enter your um, Gmail account that you used to sign up for the Auto Voice app. This is an optional step, but I like doing this. First, you want to open up the NFC Tools app and then go to the other section and then click on Erase Tag and then scan your NFC tag with your phone. Once the tag has been erased, you click OK, and then you go to the right section. Then you want to click on the Add a Record button. Then you want to click on Text, and then put in the name of your routine. For me, I'm going to put in Turn Off Garage Light. Then you click OK, and then click on the right button, and bring your NFC tag close to your phone. Now that we have the NFC tag cleaned and written to, let's open up Tasker. In Tasker, you want to click on the plus icon on the bottom right hand side, and then we want to click on event. And then we want to search for NFC, and then we want to click on NFC tag. In the NFC tag screen, we will see two optional fields, one called ID and one called content. You only need one of these. That's why I said the previous step was optional. First, I'm going to click on the lens icon and scan the NFC tag to get its ID. And then I'm going to click on the lens icon next to the contents and then get the contents of the NFC tag. Clicking on the back button will save everything and take you back to the previous screen. Over here, we want to click on the new task. We want to call our new task, turn off garage light. And then in the task edit screen, we want to click on the plus icon on the bottom right. And then we want to search for Alexa. And then we want to select the auto voice trigger action. On the action edit screen, we will click on the edit icon next to the configuration section. This will open up the auto voice app. And then in here, we want to select the create new device option. And we will call this new device turn off garage light. Once you have the device created, we want to click on the check icon on the top right of the screen. 
back on the tasker action edit screen, we just want to click on the back button to save everything. Now the tasker profile and task are all set up and ready to go. Back on this home screen, we want to open up the Alexa app. And then we go to more and then we go to routines. And from the routine screen, we're going to add a new routine. We're going to call this new routine turn off garage light. Next, we're going to add the trigger for the routine. We go to the smart home section. And then we go to the turn off garage light. And then click save. Once you have selected our trigger, we will search for an action. I'm going to select my garage light light switch. So I'm going to switch it to off. Click next. And then click save. So that's pretty much it. Um, at this point, you should be able to scan your NFC tag on your phone once again to run your routine.